this is the incubator I, I bought. It was, it was 72 pounds. I bought it from Amazon. So this is like a, a, a little bit of a review, but it's the start of, I did decide to put some duck eggs in there. So this is a HHD, it's only a 12 egg incubator. I, I thought it was going to be bigger, but hey, 12 eggs is, is okay. However, if you take the tray out that is in there, then you can, you can double the amount more or less. If you was doing chicken eggs, you'd probably get about 30 chicken eggs in there, but then you'd have to manually rotate them yourself. If you leave the tray in, you'll get 12 chicken eggs, easy peasy. There is an automatic turner in there. It's a little black tray with dividers in it. You can do quail and everything in there. I'd struggle to get a couple of goose egg in there though. Probably about three uh, pushing it. But, and then it rolls back and forth, you know, so it'll go down and then it'll come up every so often you know so there is an automatic turner in there it seems to be pretty solid and they do say that if you're incubating and it's less than 20 degrees outside so you can see the um the instructions there so you've got there's the tray and there's the little dividers you do get a few of those dividers as I say for quail eggs so you've got your dozen chicken eggs and it'll take about nine duck eggs and about three goose eggs and then this goes that way and that way and it gently rolls the eggs I have tried it with the tray in I did take the tray out so uh, let's check on the eggs that I brought up from the duck house because well, as I say, two were on the floor last night and they were chilly. And then I just thought I, I, I'll bring them in because they're nigh on ready to hatch. Or they, they should have been nigh on ready to hatch. So I'll, I'll, I'll check on the eggs now. It's my first time today and I'm, I'm not sure. Perhaps one will, perhaps none will. I don't know. They, they, the two were very, very cold. And if you consider how many eggs that were in there, there was about, um, I think the girls were sitting on uh, about eight eggs. And so that diminished now down to, to one egg that they were on. And then Lucy was on, say, uh, a load of duck eggs and six goose eggs, which you know she did try but all she sat on now is is two goose eggs and one of those i found out of the nest and on the floor so let's see how these are doing i'm, I'm not sure if it's working i'll have to candle those two later if it's not working i should put those two eggs in this incubator and we'll see how we get on so let's have a look and see what this is all about here it is so it does say use the styrofoam box if you want to keep out drafts so there's peepholes there in the styrofoam that you can look in and see the eggs or whatever and there's a uh, you, you can see the temperature check the temperature and then there's a let's take this off so there we are so it's, it seems to be quite a sturdy little incubator. Uh, the condensation on the sides, that's because it's, it's humid in there. I have added water. Uh, the only thing I've found is they know, there is no uh, humidity uh, measure in there, which, which I'll have to buy one. I did have one, but I don't know where it is. And anyway, you know, I'll, I'll need to buy a humidity reader. So there we are. So let's open it up. I'm kind of frightened. So 
I've got, I've got one hag here. I'll have to take you in the in the downstairs privy so that we can candle it and see if there's any movement. I know these are the eggs I, I took out because I've got a circle drawn on them. So let's go into the downstairs loo. This one has done a first pip. You can see the, you see the movement in there. <laughs> so this one's okay. I'll put this one back in the nest and we'll come back with another one. <whistles> Let's put it back otherwise it'll get too cold. So this is the next one. It's, it's alive. There was just a little, a little movement there. pop this one back I'm, I'm not sure I'll just go and get the next <whistles> yes it, it is alive let's go and get the next one so here is here's the next one it is alive If you can see that is pulsing. Let's put it back in the incubator. It has done an internal pip. I should be able to hear it if it calls. Let's put it back. So it has got a, a candler on. It's got a, it's got an LED light. So if you switch that on, you can see it's a bright light, and that tells you what the temperature is inside. Um, your up button, your down button, that adjusts the temperature. And yes, it is a nice. It is a nice little incubator but the proof of the pudding is in the eating isn't it really so we'll have to see how things go so let's pop them back into bed um, I'll probably increase the temperature later and there's the instruction Let's push it back. There. So thanks very much for watching. That's the end of today's video. Thanks very much again for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed today's video. I'll keep you updated on the progress of those little eggs in there and keep our fingers crossed to make sure they hatch so there are about 15 other eggs in there so uh, I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed so I'll say TTFN for now thanks very much for watching we'll catch up again tomorrow or when they're hatching so 
stay safe wherever you are and God bless you all. Thanks again. Take care. Love to all of you from all of us as me, the ducks, the chickens and the geese or the little ones or the flockers. So TTFN. Bye.